So, the uh, piano bit for uh, Layla, and um, it's complicated as you can see. You don't have to play it as heavily as I am, meaning with the bass notes and so on. But I want to give it to you that way so you see what we're doing. Um, and then you can decide whether you want to make it you know, a little more narrow, let the bass player handle the bass notes, kind of the idea. Um, but I want to give you all this so that you, you know uh, what the bass player should be doing if you decide to split it up. Okay? So basically I'm playing C. Okay? And C with an E in the bass. Okay? Now the next chord is basically going to be F at 9. Okay? Major 7, F6, I guess we could say, okay, because D on the top, all right, uh, but I'm dropping the F on that, so I'm playing, okay, okay, and I'm just going to an A flat there, because on this F, um, Six, I guess we would call it. Uh, I'm playing A, C, and G. Okay, that's just a C note that I'm plucking there. It's already in the shape. That's an A flat there. Okay, and that comes from um, a B flat nine chord. Okay. You hear it? Yeah. So um, I'm just playing the smaller portion. Okay, and. right there, I'm basically I'm holding most of what I have, or need. So I'm playing A flat, C, D, eventually, uh, and then I'm putting this chord together. It's almost like a um, minor major sound. Okay, but again it's going to be coming from uh, B flat. You hear that? Yeah. Alright, and then C. Now, in the tune, it does that a few times before it walks down to A and does the other part of it. Uh, but I'm just going to, I've just been jumping right in, okay? Okay, so walking down to A. That's with a uh, D bass note, so it's A bass note. D bass note. G. Five one, send it into C. Okay. All right. Now back to what I'm doing. I've got this line. Okay. Going to the A bass note. I'm harmonizing E, F, and G. Okay. So. All right. So from the A, D in the bass. Okay, so the chords are keeping the same, it's just the uh, changing of the bass note that makes it sound like something completely new, okay? Now with the bass notes. Okay, and then we go um, from G to C. So it's kind of like the same movement there, uh, but the chords are different. So we're going to have um, B and D, C and E, uh, D and F, C and E, and then uh, B and D. So from the G bass note, C, okay, oh sorry. So once more from G, C, A, okay, now what I'm playing there, alright, so it's some singles with the, uh, we have a double stop first, A and C, and then C, D, C, so I have a D, and strumming of A and D, 
C, B, A, but harmonized with an upper C, and then G, but harmonizing with an upper B. So it's kind of like the line goes, but it harmonizes the last two. And then I play just a G note, kind of um, reinforcing that five chord. It goes back into C, okay? Now here we're climbing up before we play that. So I'm harmonizing the same lines with slightly different harmony. It's going to go from um, a C note to harmonize the E, a D note to harmonize the F, and then the G is harmonized by a C. So our upper line but our lower line, you see? Okay, and then I put that A note to finish the F chord, so to speak. C again. There you go. It's a lot of stuff. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or any trouble or um, just whatever. But um, hope that works well for you.